Today, I'm going to show you how to easily create transitions like this. Let's get right into it. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So like I said in the intro, we're gonna be creating some awesome, easy wipe transitions to where you can change scenes inside of your YouTube videos or do any kind of transitions where you just wipe across the screen. I had a lot of people questioning that transition from my last video. I'll put a link to my last video up in the corner. It's about shotgun microphones versus other types of microphones. And in there, I took a shotgun mic and I just kind of wiped it across the screen and we transitioned from another scene to this scene right here. And a lot of people were wondering how I did that and it is unbelievably easy to do it all inside of Premiere or all inside of whatever editor you are using to edit. So we are going to get into how to do that super easily and a couple other ways to do transitions like that. But before we get into it, I just wanna say if you guys have not already checked out placeit.net, be sure to do that down in the description. I have a link down in the description where you can get 15% off a monthly or yearly subscription to placeit.net if you do not own After Effects or any programs and you still wanna have awesome stream design, stream overlays and all kinds of stuff and you wanna customize them, check out placeit.net for 15% off down in the description and you can customize and rebrand your entire stream for crazy cheap. But let's get into the video and let's take a look at how to do transitions. All right, guys, here we are inside of Premiere Pro, my current editor of choice. So we've got two clips here, and these are the ones we're going to be transitioning together. These are the clips from the last video. Once again, if you haven't checked out the shotgun versus other types of microphones video from last week, check that out, and you can see the transition I am talking about. But this is from that video. You'll see I just kind of talk for a minute into your streaming setup if you have a certain style. So let's go ahead and then and I wipe it, it just like that. I just wipe it, and then I'm done. And then here on the next scene, I just kind of wait. All right, guys, so here we are. And then start talking. And that is all you need. You just need a scene where you wipe across the screen and cover up the whole screen just like that. And even if you don't cover up the whole screen, you can scale in to make sure that whatever you wiped across covers up the whole screen. But you'll see I cover up the whole screen with the microphone. And then we go to this scene right, right guys, here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask over this layer. So how you're going to do it in Premiere Pro is you're just going to click on your layer and you're going to go up to the effects controls and we're going to go to the opacity layer right here. And if you're using any other editor, I promise you it's probably got masking controls. It's a pretty common thing to do. So make sure you just look it up for your editor, how to do masks and whatnot, and you'll see exactly how to do it. And then you can come back to the tutorial and follow exactly what I'm going to do. So inside of Premiere Pro, we just want to go up to where it says opacity, and we want to click on this little pen tool right here to create a new mask. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and scale out a little bit. So I'm going to go to where it says fit and change it to 50% not 50, 25%, that's what I meant to do. Change it to 25% so we got some room around here to work. And now we're gonna go frame by frame with the arrow keys until the first frame of the microphone pops on. So now it's time to click on the pin tool and now it's time to create our mask. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and draw a perfect diagonal to go with our microphone just like that. You see we hit the diagonal right on the microphone and then we're just gonna finish off the mask over here. And you're gonna see that it's only going to keep what you drew a mask around. And the way we're gonna stop that is we're gonna come over, come over here to the mask one and we're going to select the box that says inverted so once we select inverted you'll see we're now cutting out what is selected behind the shotgun mic here and not the rest of the footage so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to mask path right here and we're going to select the stopwatch right next to mask path and that's what's going to keyframe our mask so let's go ahead and select the stopwatch and now we're going to go frame by frame and adjust our mask to follow the microphone so let's go frame by frame here so there's one frame and you see how much it moved so we can go ahead and click on mask one up here and we're going to drag our points to follow the mask and it looks like we're actually going to need to add a, an extra point on here the three for a triangle is not going to work so you can just go over to the mask line and you'll see it pops up with the pin tool with a plus sign just like that go ahead and click and we get an extra point that we can now drag around up here just like that so there we go so now if we go frame by frame you'll see it goes from here to there and now we're gonna go frame by frame again and we're gonna put it on the next point so it goes way over here it's a really quick moving microphone just like that so now let's go frame by frame again you'll see we got a nice little follow Last but not least, over here, once again, we'll need to adjust our other points to make sure we're blocking out everything just like that. There we go. And now we're going to go ahead and go another frame forward like that. And you'll see that the microphone is pretty much completely gone. So we're just going to go ahead and take it all away. So now what we have here is we have this perfect wipe just like that. Now we need to go back to the first frame and make sure that we take it away 
before the microphone comes into frame. So just like that. So now we've got this beautiful mask that comes over and matches the microphone just like that. Now you can leave it like that, but I'm going to do something to clean it up a little bit. As you can see, the microphone is moving so fast, it's got a lot of blur to it. So we're going to go ahead and match that blur by upping our feather right here. So we're going to up it from 10 to maybe like, I don't know. 150 let's go 150 ish and you'll see now we've got a nice feathered mask and not a hard line so now let's go frame by frame again and you'll see we've got a perfect mask that follows the microphone all the way across now all we need to do is just add in our next shot at the right timing so we're going to go ahead and grab our clip here and drag it up to video layer 2 so that we can put another video layer underneath it we're going to move this audio down so it doesn't interfere with this audio and we're just going to go ahead and slot this second clip right in underneath so now you see once we fly away just like this once we drag it away you see the next clip is being revealed underneath it our timing is off a little bit comes in a little too quick so let's go ahead and drag it out like that go frame by frame and now you see that that mask that we cut out from behind is showing the footage directly behind it it is super easy to do just like that so now let's play it and see what it looks like into your streaming setup if you have a certain style so let's go ahead and get in there all right, guys. And there it is. Look how easy that is. Style. So let's go ahead and get in there. All right. And that already looks incredible. That adds a lot of production value to your videos, makes people go, whoa, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to edit. It's really, it's a really cool effect you can do. And you can see how easy it is. I would have done that about three times as fast if I wasn't actually doing a tutorial and showing you how to do it. You can do it super fast once you get used to it. But this is how you do all kinds of transitions like that. You'll see people do transitions where they'll like go take the camera and they'll go behind a building. And once you go behind the building or go behind a light pole, then there's a new scene on the other side. That's how you do that as well. Um, you'll see all the time people will walk in front of the camera. And when people walk really close to the camera, that works just like a hand going in front of the camera, just like that. So you can just mask behind the person and walking through to switch to a new scene. There's all kinds of ways to do just kind of wipe transitions super easily like that using what exists inside of the footage. Also, something kind of funny is that if you guys remember when I did my webcam border pack two, I believe it was my second webcam border pack. I did a cloning effect where there's two of me sitting on a couch. That is how you do cloning effects as well. You just draw a mask and cut out part of the footage to where it shows other footage underneath. And I just filmed myself on both sides of the couch and then just put a mask down the middle of one of them and cut out the other one to put myself on it. So that's how you do cloning effects as well is this exact same mask technique. If you guys would like a specific video on how to do advanced cloning effects using masks like this, I'd be happy to do it. Just let me know down in the comments, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoy using this awesome wipe transition wherever you want inside your videos literally all you have to do is just when you're thinking about it when you're filming once you finish a sentence just go bam and then it's just gonna wipe to a new scene you don't even need to plan for it at all you can do it all inside of post-production inside your editor but i hope you guys enjoyed this video once again be sure to check out places.net down in the description to get 15 percent off a monthly or yearly subscription where you can completely rebrand your stream with unlimited downloads and unlimited customizability for all of your overlays, but I'll see you guys in the next video.